Hey guys and welcome to Skilllink. Mobile phones and tabs have become an integral part of our lives and there's no getting away from it. Starting with primitive keyboards, they now run on touch screens. But have you ever wondered how random taps and swipes on your touch screen get translated into discernible actions? Though it might look simple, the technology behind this is actually quite fascinating. One of the earliest technologies of touch screen which is still used today is what is called the resistive touch screen. Just like a push button, a soft touch pushes the resistive screen inwards. The screen rebounds to its original shape when the touch is released. A resistive touch screen has two layers, a flexible outer layer and an intact inner layer. These are coated with a conducting material for a continuous flow of current. These two layers are separated by a thin film of insulating dots called spacers. When you press the screen, your finger pushes the flexible layer across the spacers to make contact with the inner layer. This changes the flow of current at that particular point and the touchscreen acts to obey your command. Resistive touchscreens are used in devices that require only one touch at a time. For example, in credit card readers, in ATM machines and even POS devices that are used in supermarkets. Because resistive touch technology cannot process more than one input at a time, they can't be used in our cell phones because cell phones require pinch and zoom gestures for various operations. In order to enable multi-touch gestures, we use what's called as capacitive touchscreens. In a capacitive touchscreen, voltage is continuously supplied across a touch sensor which monitors the voltage across the screen. When a conductive material comes in contact with the sensor, the voltage is altered. Your finger has positive and negative charges which alters the voltage across the screen. When you touch your mobile screen to hit a like on your friend's post, the interaction between the charges on your finger and the sensor disturbs the applied voltage and the touch is recognized. You would have definitely witnessed water droplets on your phone activating apps. That's because water is a conductive material. And you would have noticed that you cannot type an SMS using your nails because human nails are insulators. While these two are the most prominent types of touchscreens available in the market, there are two other technologies which are used. One works on infrared rays and the other works on acoustic wave technology. Infrared touchscreens work by passing infrared rays through the length and breadth of the mobile panel. LEDs are the source of these infrared rays. When you touch the screen, you interrupt the flow of infrared rays and based on the position of the waves interrupted, the screen reacts. Unlike capacitive touchscreens, infrared touchscreens are triggered by any object contacting the screens. These are used in automatic ticketing machines and e-book readers. In acoustic touchscreens, ultrasonic waves are generated on the screen panel and a finger touch not only disturbs the path of sound waves but also absorbs the sound. The inbuilt processor determines where the sound waves are interrupted and ascertains the position of the touch. When a single touch can bring the world to your doorsteps, why don't you use your magical touch to like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, stay tuned to Skill Link.